So there's a story which I love, which was the story of AlphaGo. And this was Google's DeepMind AI project back in 2016, where they wanted to train an AI model to play the game, the Chinese game Go, uh, with the world's best Go players. Now, the game of Go, which is a board game, it's a strategy game, uh, has more potential moves than observable, uh, than atoms in the observable universe, which I think is, is just mind boggling. And this AlphaGo model that they created, which is an AI model, was trained on 30 million moves from professional AlphaGo players. So it, it observed what was a good move, essentially, in these, in these matches. It then played itself millions of times over and had a slight tweak of the AI model so that it was AlphaGo 1.1 versus AlphaGo 1.2. Who would win? Okay, AlphaGo 1.2 now plays AlphaGo 1.3. And that would happen for millions of times over. So it then had this self-created data set of millions of moves that it also analyzed to then create its learning architecture. It then played the world's best Go player, a guy called Lee Sadol. And it was a match out of five, and the winner got a million dollars. And in game two, there is this critical point, move 37, where AlphaGo makes this move, and everybody takes a, a breath back and, and, and say, wow, We've never seen this move before. And actually, the, the turning point of the game was attributed to that one move. And AlphaGo ended up winning game two because of this one move. And it was said that if you look back on the calculations that the model was doing, it was a one in 10,000 chance that that move would have given it an advantage. But it took it anyway, and it did. And it ended up beating the world's best Go player. And actually, everybody said at the time, that move has revolutionized this game. You know, we just, no human would have ever thought to have made that move. Now, there's two things that I find really sort of interesting in this. Number one, AI is going to be cleverer than we are. It might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow, but it is going to happen it is going to become cleverer and better and faster than we are. But number two, if you don't have the human element involved in something, it's not that interesting. We weren't spectators of all of those millions of games that AlphaGo was playing against itself. There was no million pound prize that was given to actually film and watch those matches happening because we weren't interested. It wasn't until it was human against the AI that it became of interest. So I think whilst AI is going to revolutionize pretty much everything, it isn't until we have a human involved that it becomes of value. And I think that's a hugely important lesson to learn.